Hello everyone! Okay, so here. Let's play Jade Cocoon Part 3. Yep. So, well, the last time we discovered a bit more about the story of the game. I had also talked with Garai and all that. So now, now I have to go to the Watchtower to get the key to the Beetle Forest. Oh, wait, well. Wait a sec. How to say, well, uh. Now on this part, we will probably go to the watchtower and then go to the beetle forest to actually find some something that the town needs. Um, oh, a ring, how, how cute. Yeah, well, uh, let's see. Uh, anyways, as told, we will go to the beetle forest and actually have also to find a certain blue cocoon master uh, uh so yeah oh, oh how, how sweet thinking about you. so we the people of the town are hoping that from the blue cocoon master they will li uh, know more about that calvisor so well here's the town map so my home where we went to sleep this is where we were just now so we ride some the blacksmith where you can buy some weapons and so on. Here, the town shop where you buy, uh, buy moorworts, which heal your, which uh, gives you life points. Uh, Chief's estate where um, y uh, you and Mabu got well married, let's say. Silk mill, but we will go there later on. So well, here's the watchtower. Let's go. Yes, let's proceed. So, oh, there's that little guy. Oh, you did. So what? No. Well, that just—if you don't like it, so what should I care? Your problem, not mine. I don't think so. I don't think I'll get eaten. Yeah. So now that he's talking about the flute, and later on we will know what the deal is with the flute. Well, I would already tell you now. The flute actually gives you the power to capture no the, do, the monsters, well, the creatures, let's say. And spawn them and so on. We'll, we'll see that later. You feel, oh, here's Kelmar. Yeah, we're a good friend. You can seek your revenge at some other time. Yeah, revenge. Meh. Besides, you know how scary the forest is, right? And how little we can do there. So, well, yeah, uh, also have to say sorry that I'm just uploading it now but uh, I got pretty busy lately and also recording other let's plays so I didn't have time to play this so yeah here's the beetle key giving it to us uh, the fate of the village let's see you know so there is master chorus master chorus is the so-called blue cocoon master so I say he's a powerful cocoon master, and I guess he is. All right. Well, so now we have to go to the uh, to the divine barrier. Okay, here's some homes of some people, the cemetery, village square, and there it is, the forest gates. And let's proceed. So yeah, there we are. Na, 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 run, run! Oh, oh, the little guy. What do you want to do? Shut up! You're the loser. So yeah, uh, in the beginning of let's say this adventure, it will be let's say not that exciting, you could say. And well, it's pretty good actually because uh, uh, for that you can actually concentrate more about the story and so on, and not about uh, doing some combat, leveling up, and so on. That will be later on. All right, bit late. So yeah, the far end. There are four gates, as I maybe already told you. There are four gates. There's the beetle gate, dragonfly uh, gate, the uh, spider gate, and the one on the left. I don't remember the name of, of it. <laughs> I'm sorry. So well, so here are here are the four doors to the different forests. So now you have to go to the right one. 
which is the beetle forest. So now we just up. Beetle gears, and there we go. Damn. This is so crazy. So yeah, there's a guy. There's that's the Blue Cocoon Master chorus. Who are you? So yeah, of course he, he doesn't know who you are yet. So well if you are a real so yeah, the flute. The flute is let's say the, the brand let's say the, the key to a cocoon master and you always get no it's a cocoon master because of the, the flute of the song. And now you hear he play he plays this song and well Chorus knows it. Yeah, of course he knows it, knows it because it's the same uh, song Rickheads use, so his father. Well, my father, let's say. So, yeah. Yep, the, the village is in danger, we can't say. So now, Swallow will fade out. He will tell the, his, the history of what happened there. Well, up some. So that's. Apparently the only thing which can save the people. <laughs> You're a so yeah. You don't know anything yet, do you? Your father would never forgive me if I just let you yeah. go into the forest. So now he he is going to teach you a few things of how to fight and so on. And he, if you if the fir first time playing, I think you should maybe do every tutorial which he shows. So see now, so here is it, attack fast, capture and so on. So first, uh, what you should always do is do the capture one. Because with the capture the tutorial, you actually capture a monster which you never, ever get in the game. Which is that dragon I told you about, which the Dream Man used. Well, it's not the same colors, but it's the same, well, let's say, family, the race. Uh, so let's go. So here, Arpatron. There is a little guy. Actually, I must, I must say I love, I love that track. I don't know why. So yeah, first you must let him know who's boss. I'm boss. So, so we have to now weaken him by taking, attacking him. And so when the bar there, the health bar is red, you can actually just capture him. So now here we go, capture. Now there will be this animation capture animation. Of course you can uh, deactivate some options of the, of the capture scene so it goes faster or even goes more longer. But well, there we go. Seeing the, the song which actually helps him capture, uh, capturing the monster. And you see he's like in a... how to say... It's, it's something. I don't know how I can explain. Well, well, well now it captures. There's the only way to improve is to imprison as many minutes as you can, yeah. So you got like a capture level and that one always gets leveled up, well not always, but you get experience by capturing those monsters. So yeah, but, uh, more, uh, higher level, easier for you to capture one. Uh, that's a gift. Well, so he tells about purifying, yeah. You can't use the monster unless you purify him. Well, here's the thing, merging something, well, but maybe I have to talk about it if you want, you can do it yourself. Because uh, we shouldn't lose time anyways. So well, I think we should go back to the, to the village, because I want to purify that little dragon of mine, because uh, I really want to use him now. So well, now we have to go to Mabu, which is in uh, Garasso area. So, when you always want to purify, you have to go to her. There is no other person who can do it for you, for now. Don't overdo yeah, it until you try talking with Mother Girl. Uh, I'll perform edge magic. So yeah, they have some special kind of magic. Magic that helps us for purifying and so on. Spirit again now. Hey, look at this. Oof. Crazy thing. 
imagine that would be existing real. Oh yeah. Alright, so well, here we are. So here's merge where you can like fusion two monsters, catch it, spin. If you want to spin into uh, into silk, which you can sell later on, and more powerful monsters get better silk, which color, which will give you more money. So well, you have to go to equip. Here it is. If you form, and there is okay. So that is like level one, very small. But while leveling up, he always grow bigger. Oh, this is probably already very strong, and this will be bestialic, crazy. Oh well, so there you are. And so on. Oh, well, let's equip. You can only have three monsters with you. That's one thing. Well, well, let's exit and let's go back to the to the gates. like a map which is actually a good feature because now you can either move directly to the barrier gate or immediately go to one of the forests. Well for now I can only use the middle forest okay, as I just unlocked that one. Oh, let's see. Let's proceed. What was that? Showing. So here we are. Now we will go and normally if I'm not wrong there will be one right now here. Look at that. They did some great work with the with the with the forest. So there. <coughs> There's a monster. Some of them actually go towards you, some flee. They someone go just go away. But most of them actually go towards you to fight. So in the contact you fight with them. So well now let's just summon my dead monster. So, uh, well, as you see, Skywest is a attribute, which means air. Mine is water. So, for that, there won't be any effects on the battles itself. Well, there we have some special magics, where he is either or fang, or and so on. That's a magic, well, let's see that. And bam. Too, too much. Anyways, well, now let's just attack him, attack it normally. Yeah, almost the same as with magic or so on. Let me try the special. Let's see if I hit him. Bam! Ooh! Critical! Critical! When the white sunburst, white, well, the white burst comes, that means it was critical. Oh, level up! So, yeah. And as you see now, more HP, more mana, and so on. And it's probably a bit bigger now, but you don't really no notice it. And see, it grows up. Uh, oh, another one. Let us go ask. Oh, let's summon him. Again. Well, I could actually capture him, but I want to capture other ones. There go. Bam! So now it does 8 damage. Before it just took 5 or 6. Oh! Yeah. So, well, he's there, but sometimes there's thunder, so. Well, fuck logic, I guess. Okay, bam! And whoop, bam, kill him. Kill him, kill him, kill him! Uh. And you're done. So, that's how it is. That's how the battles go. Of course, for now it's weak enemies. But later on, you know, there will be. Oh, a bitter mugwort! That's good, it's like. If you would compare it to Pokemon, it will be like Super Potion or so on. So, well, I guess this was it for this part. Uh, see you soon in another part of Let's Play Jet Cocoon. So, well, uh, enjoy. I hope you enjoyed watching this. And, well, see you later. See you another time.